Hey everybody, welcome back. Just a quick one today, reminder for DLSS Swapper. Uh, a lot of people have questions about ghosting. How do you deal with ghosting in the sim? How do you improve it? Number one thing you want to do is make sure that your DLSS file is updated. What is it? No idea, don't care. What I know is that it's uh, it greatly improves the visual quality. As a matter of fact, I, I do know what it is. So it's... Uh, Deep Learning Super Sampling, which is a, a, and one of the AI technologies from uh, NVIDIA, and it improves the visual qualities of the game. It doesn't change the way the game looks. It, can, it just remedies certain issues in, in games over time as it gets developed. Now, uh, I'll give you the link to download it. What you do is when you when you get the uh, DLS swapper, DLSS Swapper program open, it should automatically load your games. You come to this page and you'll see DLSS and you'll see which version you have. If you don't have the 3.5.10 version, you're going to want to get that. Now, the way you do that, you come down to this you know, little book icon here, the library icon. Um, and I've already got it, so I'll have to use another one. You click on the down arrow that says download, which would normally be here. And you click on that and the version 3.5.10. And then once it's downloaded, you come over here, you click on the uh, image of the game you want to update. You simply select the version you want, which is this one, and then click swap. Now, any of the ones that have a down arrow next to it are ones that you have not downloaded, but you don't need to download any of these. The only one you want to download is the latest one, 3.5.10. Um, that's the latest one. So just make sure you've got that installed for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, when you do a driver update, depending on what uh, GPU you have, you may have to update this again after the driver update. I personally have not had to do that, but there are people who have. I don't quite know what the issue is and why that happens, but when you update your drivers, just check DLSS Swapper again, make sure that you've got the latest version installed. It does not only work for Microsoft Flight Simulator, so if you've got other games, you can check those as well. Um, if you come down here in the settings uh, button, click on that, make sure the game libraries are enabled, Steam, GOG, Epic, Epic's game, etc. cetera. Uh, make sure these are, the, the one you want for Microsoft Flight Simulator is Xbox app enabled. That's the one that's going to sh make sure that Xbox, that uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, is displayed in the in the uh, program. But make sure all of these are open. If you've got other, you know, or enabled, if you've got other games that you play that you want to make sure um, they uh, the DLSS version on those games is updated. So you know, so some people have had issues where they can't find it, um, whether you're on Steam or uh, Store. Just make sure the Steam is enabled, make sure Xbox app is enabled, and you should be able to see it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a, a quick public service announcement. Make sure you do this, especially if you're dealing with ghosting in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I hope you guys are having a good day, and we'll see you soon.